Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Brooke and you look lovely today. It is October 24th, the first day of Witchathon. It is 10.58 p.m. and I have really kind of failed at reading today. I did start Serpent and Dove. I made it to page 11 whole 11 pages. I spent most of my free time today editing my Witchathon TBR video and working on my Witchathon spread, both of which I'm really happy with. I should have done this before Witchathon started, but I didn't, and that's okay. I'm waiting for my video to export right now. It has about five minutes left, and then I'm going to upload it and go to bed because I have to get up and go to work tomorrow, and I'm going to be tired, but that's okay. This will be done. I'm probably going to get the majority of my reading done during the weekend and on Tuesday. Anyway, I think I'm going to read a couple more pages while I sit here, get a little farther in, but I just wanted to go ahead and start this vlog and say how my first day went, and hopefully you enjoyed my TBR video, and good night. So it's day two of Witchathon. It is 8.27 p.m. And I'm literally only making this update so that I have an update for today because I only made it through page 44 in Serpent and Dove today during my breaks at work. I worked all day and then I went out to eat dinner with my grandparents, which took a hot minute, but now we're very full and we're very happy and we very sleepy. I've been sleepy all day since I stayed up so late last night. So, we love that for us, but now I'm just going to lay in bed and watch ASMR until I pass the fuck out. I'm going to get up in the morning and eat breakfast with my grandparents and go grocery shopping and buy Halloween candy, but then I can just read all day, just cozy up on my bed and read. So hopefully, we can make some good headway in this. This is my longest book, so once we get this knocked out, everything else is small potatoes, right? I haven't really gotten far enough to have a strong opinion yet, obviously. I haven't even gotten to page 50 yet. I know it's really hyped, and I know a lot of people really love it. Right now, I feel like the writing is falling just a smidge flat for me. There's not, there's something missing. Something that I'm not loving. I don't know what it is. It could just be I don't have enough information about the characters yet. It could be that the certain something hasn't hit the fan yet. It's going to make me be really invested. But I will reevaluate as I continue to read and get further in tomorrow. Good night. It is day three of Witchathon. It is 4.28 p.m. I woke up at about 8 this morning and I went to breakfast with my grandparents and we went grocery shopping and I got stuff for my breakfast for the week and my work potluck and we got Halloween candy so got all that done and then I came home, took a little lie down because Saturday is for the recharging. <laughs> After a long week of work, and then I took a shower, so now I'm clean. Mm -hmm. And we went to Sam's when we were going grocery shopping this morning, and I got this great body pillow. It's gonna be like my reading on the couch pillow. I also got this blanket for the warm cozies. Also, on Thursday, my copy of The Near Witch got here, and I feel like I remember thinking, I should unbox this for the vlog and then I probably forgot that thought and opened it anyway so here it is however my copy of getting the ninth came yesterday but I was so tired after dinner that I just came downstairs and went to bed but we're gonna open it now Ooh, that one opened so much more beautifully than the near which one Here she is, this babe, and she looks like she's real fresh. What is this thing I see sticking out of the back? <gasps> Y'all, look at this. Okay. 
Look at that end page. What the hell? We'll just straighten it out and hope it flattens out. I feel like I have to do this every time I order books in the mail, like heavily evaluate them because I'm picky as all get out when it comes to the conditions of my books. So really got to scrutinize them, which is why I prefer to go to the store and don't buy that many of my books online. So now that I've gotten all that out of the way, I'm going to sit down and read some more of Serpent and Dove, see how far I get before my nana tells me that dinner's ready. It's now 10.22 p.m. I've basically just been reading, although I took a break for dinner, but other than that, I've been reading. I'm on page 228, which my goal for today was 250, so I'm almost there. But I think I'm going to stop now because I'm feeling kind of antsy. Like, I'm at that point where I've been reading for so long, and I still want to know what happens, but I don't want to read anymore, so I'm just starting to skim. And that's how I spoil books for myself. So... I've been trying to train myself that when I reach that point, I just need to stop reading. So I'm going to go to bed and keep reading tomorrow. I hope I can finish this tomorrow. Or at least, like, the first half of Monday at the latest. friends it's now day four of witchathon it is 2 42 p.m so first things first last night when i said i was going to bed i laid in my bed and i watched some videos but i was not at all tired because i slept for 12 hours friday night and then took a nap for like two hours yesterday so i watched some videos for a while like i said and then i just kept reading and i read another 100 pages and i got to page 346 so greatly surpassed my goal for yesterday and actually read uh, 301 pages which as you can see my scale only went to 300 because I thought that was totally gonna be the max I read any day so that's cool got a whole broomstick filled out I'm hoping to finish this book today I did wake up around 10 since I didn't go to sleep until like 3 um, and then I went with my grandparents to run some errands. We had to scope out this other library that I have a class on on Tuesday night, so I would kind of know where it is and what to do. And we went and looked for some shoes for my grandma, which we did not find. And then we went to the Halloween store and I bought some stuff for my witch costume, which I'm not gonna show. I'm gonna wait till Halloween to go over all of that. And then I came home and I started my practice round of the sausage roll things that I am making from my work potluck, which I think is on Wednesday, something like that but I have never made these things before. They are like a thing that my best friend makes that I love and I decided I'm gonna try it 
but since I've never made it before, I'm doing a practice run today to make sure it turns out okay. And then on Tuesday, I will make the actual ones that I'm going to take to work. But then, right now, while they're in the freezer hardening so that I can cut the roll up and then keep, make it, bake it, I'm going to work on this video. It's my Texas Teen Book Festival video. Yeah, I got a lot of different vlogs going right now that I need to finish up and edit and stuff. This one's not that hard or anything. It's just a lot of little pieces. So I gotta put that together and then read later. And I'll update you on that. Hello friends, it's day 5 of the Witchathon, it's Monday, and it's 8.34pm, and I just finished my first book, <laughs> Serpent and Dove. And I've realized that I haven't given a lot of my thoughts on this book since I think the first 50 pages when I was kind of like, mm, I don't know. The writing was not my favorite. Like, it was good, it was good, but it was not like top tier for me. I think especially because of the French atmosphere, I read Sky Without Stars. A few months ago, which is a Les Mis retelling in space, so it's also very Frenchy. And the writing in that was, like, great. Like, the kind of writing that I really like. And so, like, this was, like, trying to get there, but wasn't quite there, I guess. But I really enjoyed the story. I really enjoyed the romance. It was a little confusing at the beginning. Some context wasn't established great, which I think was why at the beginning I was kind of like, mm. But I... Still really enjoyed the story, and I'm really going to read the next one. We anticipating it. I think it was a really good book for this readathon, although I think there's a witchathon in the winter too, and this might have been perfect for that, because it might be like literally the same holiday. But you know, we read it now, so we've done that. I'm going to start Gideon the Ninth. It's over here. Tonight to get it started and I'm gonna read a lot tomorrow. I was just thinking that I have to go to bed soon because I because of work tomorrow, but I actually don't work until the evening tomorrow because I have a training class to do, so I don't have to wake up super early. It's Tuesday now, friends. It is 8.41 a.m. We're actually getting a morning update. <laughs> I don't have to work today, but I do have like a training class in the evening at like 4. So I set my alarm for 8 to make sure I like got up at a reasonable time. I've been watching booktube videos so far this morning though, um, so it's a little later. But I'm just going to sit down now and really get into Gideon the Ninth. Last night, I technically made read 14 pages, <laughs> the way that Tor counts their pages. I basically just read, like, the beginning inscriptions and all that, so I'm actually on the first page of the actual story. So we'll see how I'm liking it. I think at, like, 11, I'm going to stop to make my sausage rolls, but that gives me about two hours right now. Don't mind my hair. I haven't even brushed it today. I was, like, trying to make it look decent, but... Whatever. So we're going to read. So it's 10.43 a.m. now. I've made it to page... Hold on. 56, or chapter... I should have looked at that while I had it open. 5 of Gideon the Ninth. It's slow reading. I am a slow reader anyway, kind of. But also, like, there's a lot of text on each page in this one. So it's not super fast. I am enjoying it so far. I have basically gotten past like, the initial introduction phase where like the inciting incident is happening and all that jazz, which I'm happy that I'm liking it because I was kind of worried last night when I was looking at it that because this was the group book and not a book I picked for myself, like I wasn't going to get into it and I was going to have to stop it and go for a different one that I picked for myself. I wanted to try to get most of this read today and maybe finish it tomorrow and then start a third book so I could finish three books. I don't know if that's going to happen because this is the second longest book on my TBR. It's like 440 pages. So it's considerably good chunk less 
long than Serpent and Dove, but the formatting is a lot different. So I don't really know how much different it is. And like I said, it's slow reading. But now I'm going to take a break and get my sausage rolls ready to go in the freezer. And then maybe take my shower for the day before I continue reading. Because I need to leave my house at like 3. So I got like 4 showers left. So it's now 12, 12, 11.54 and I got my sausage rolls in the freezer so they can harden before I cut them and bake them. Took my shower, washed my hair, even started my laundry all before noon. So everything's going great. I am going to eat a little snack because I haven't eaten anything today and I'm getting really hungry. And then keep reading. At 1.15 I'll probably stop to blow dry my hair and get dressed and then cut up the sausage rolls, stick them in the oven. And then I'll just have all the time until 3 when I should leave. It's now 2.57 p.m. You can see it on the clock back there. And I'm about to leave for my class, but I wanted to give one last update. I made it to page 101, or chapter 10 of Getting the Ninth, which I wanted to get a little past 100. So I'm like almost there, but I need to leave now. I am going to take this with me just in case I get an opportunity for a break or something to read. I also... Finished my laundry, got it all downstairs. It's all washed and stuff. I don't have time to put it away, but we can do that later. And I got all my sausage rolls done, and they're in a container, and in the fridge for me to take to work tomorrow. So we're accomplishing all our goals today. It's great. And now we're gonna leave, and hopefully not have any trouble finding this library that we've only driven by once. I'll probably read when I get home. I'm gonna get home around nine-ish, so I might read for like an hour or something. We'll see how I feel then. But I'll catch up with you later. And we're back again. It's Wednesday, October 30th, the second to last day, 7.37 p.m. I am on page 128 of Gideon the Ninth. I'm home from work now for today, and I ate dinner and all that. So we snuggled back in here with a new reading pillow to read some more and see how much we can get done. I don't want to stay up super late tonight because i got to get up early tomorrow to get my Halloween costume together before I go to work. So... We'll see how far we get in the next, like, two hours or something. Behold my beauty. <laughs> I decided to curl my hair for Halloween tomorrow. So that's what's happening right now. But it's 10.32 p.m. And I should be going to bed. But I'm on page, let me see, 187 of getting the ninth. And I'd really like to get to 200 before I go to sleep. So I'm going to read, like, another chapter and hope that that gets me there. And then go to sleep and get up in the morning and get myself together. Hello, happy Halloween morning. I am about to put on my makeup and take these out to finish getting ready for work for Halloween today. And I thought I would video it. And I thought while I did this, I would talk to you about getting the ninth, which I still haven't finished. I got to like page 191 or something last night. Right now, I have this headband on to kind of hold my curls out of the way because I'm going to half curl my hair and not do it super tight. I'm putting on my concealer. I like to put it on before I put on my foundation. And I just cover up the little problem spots, cover up under my eyes, do my nose first. And then I blend it with my finger. But getting the night. As I said, I was a little worried about it originally because like it sounds interesting or it sounded interesting to me we're in the past now um but it wasn't like the book that i chose for myself and then when i opened it uh the formatting in that thing is kind of mm, like there's not a ton of white space like it's not horrible but it's all very close together the text is kind of small and i was like oh shoot and i'm really worried i'm not gonna finish it by tonight i know i'm not gonna finish it tonight and i want to finish it at least by the live show tomorrow but I don't know, we'll see. I am trying my best here. But I'm really enjoying it so far. Like it's kind of engrossed me in there and I find myself wanting to go back to it when I can't be reading because I'm at work. Also, the concealer I use is this cover stick by Maybelline in the color Fair. Because I'm a white ass bitch. And then, hold on. I use the Lancome foundation. I don't remember what color this is, but I use this 
And I use this little um, silicone sponge thing that I think I got from e.l.f. I don't know. Y'all, I'm not a makeup guru. I just have to do makeup sometimes. <coughs> As we all do, I sip up. The writing is really interesting. I think there's like a quote from V.E. Schwab on the back that says the writing is as sharp as a broken tooth. And I don't know if I <laughs> get the broken tooth vibes, but it's really very interesting. And also sometimes very confusing. There are lines that she says that I'm like, I don't know what this means in context. Like it doesn't make sense to me. Like there's a typo in it or something, I don't know. Um, the descriptions are also kind of weird for me, as I've said before, I'm not a super visual reader, so sometimes it's just kind of hard for me to like figure it out. <laughs> but I usually after I read like the whole paragraph of description, and then I go back and look at it like all together, then I can kind of figure it out. But like sentences at a time, if I stare at it, I'm like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> I'm gonna use CoverGirl Clump Curler Mascara. I don't really know if I have a favorite character at this point in the book. Like, Gideon's the main character, and she's okay, and Hera Hark is like, fucking evil. <laughs> like, she really is. And then a lot of the other characters are just kind of weird. <laughs> and Serpent and Dove, my favorite character was definitely Ansel, just cause he was so precious. And I was so happy that like the extra Barnes and Noble scene was from his point of view. I was like, oh, bless my heart. Oh, I was gonna do eyeliner. Hold on. I don't usually do eyeliner. That's why I'm not used to it. I can ish do it. I have a lazy eye. Fun fact. I think I've mentioned this before. And sometimes that makes doing eye makeup a little difficult. I do like the setting, the giant creepy house without end. I find a secret passageway and all that stuff and like little nooks and crannies really uh, intriguing. It's a science fantasy. So on the one hand, it's very technological, like they're out in space and they take space shuttles. On the other hand, you know, they're like playing with swords and <laughs> they're not playing with swords, they're sword fighting and stuff. I expect there to be like a little more technology. I wish I had a little more context for like what the capabilities are. Like she read dirty magazines it's like a whole thing, it's in the summary and everything. Like why is she still reading them? There's a thing about how paper doesn't really exist anymore and they use something else that they call flimsy and I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. But it's like they're not using like tablets and screens and stuff which I find interesting since they're like in space. Also, like her speech is very modern and she uses a lot of modern phrases and stuff which is like fine, whatever. Like writers can only do so much. I don't really care that much. I'm not one of those people that's like, it's not accurate. Except for she used the term pizza face and she lives on this plant where she eats like gruel and like ground up like snow leeks which are like bulbous vegetables and I'm like how does she know what pizza is? <laughs> like because it's not like she seems like she watches a lot of TV or anything or even if they didn't have it she would see it on something else because like I said it doesn't like look seem like they have screens or anything this is my bad eye Or rather, this is my good eye, so it's the bad eye for me to do. So, we did concealer, foundation, and now we've done eyeliner. So we'll do mascara for real this time. Also, I was using this Lasting Line Absolute Black Long Wearing Eyeliner from Bare Minerals. I really wish I could do like a wing without it looking really dumb. I know there's like an easy way to do it. You just follow your eye or something, but I just tried to do that a minute ago and it was like too thick. Or maybe. I'm 
our eyes are done. We're gonna put this on our lip so they can moisturize a little bit. I was trying to decide whether or not to do blush. Like whether or not like it fits with the look. I think I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna brush up my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna use my dark red color here. We've got a face on. Heyo. So I gotta take the curlers out. And then I have this little witch's hat to pin in my hair. It's a clip. And then we should be done. So it's now Saturday, November the 2nd, it's almost 5pm, it's 4.58pm, and due to uh, camera problems, I did not end up filming anymore on Halloween. But I'm updating now to finish this blog, vlog, <laughs> and also say that I just finished Gideon the 9th. So I technically didn't finish it within the official dates of Wichita'n, um, so I did calculate what I officially read, and I officially read 742 pages, which is almost a quarter of the overall TBR page count, which we all knew I was not going to get to. I don't really know how much I read on a weekly basis. I've been thinking about starting to track it to get a sort of idea, because when I do these readathons, I don't really know very well, like, how much, but I feel like that's pretty good. That's, like, a little under 100 pages a day, and let me tell you, like, as slow as I read the pages and getting the ninth, it took me a minute with the spacing and everything. Knocking two books out, two big books that big for me, in that short of a time, is pretty good. Especially because if you look at my chart, there's, like, two days on here where I read less than 20 pages. So let's just substitute, like, those two days for these. Call it good. Thanks for watching. I love you. Bye.